Well, I'm back at the sea can today, uh, ready to actually pull pieces out of the sea can to go back onto the boat, which is extremely exciting. We get to put the view berth back together now that the foam's all on there and I've cut down the extra foam. It's now time to put the pieces of wood back in there and actually put our bed back together and make it look like a boat again that we can actually live in, which is very exciting. The rest of the boat is another story, but the V-Birth is at that point. I'm Taryn, this is Logan, and this is Max. Our life rarely goes as planned, and this story is no different. But we are determined to rebuild our beautiful steel boat, even stronger than she was before. And we're bringing you along with us. So it's mostly that stuff there. Mostly this stuff. I think that might even be aft cabin. Alright, so we think we have most of the pieces. We won't really know until we get to the boat and start putting things back together. But if we don't, we'll just grab them this weekend and keep going on the job. We definitely have enough to keep us going today. And hopefully that means that we'll at least have the fridge back in by the, at the end of the week and a good chunk of the V-Birth back together. So let's get heading to the boat. Can you push that end in? Like in, yeah. So, we either have to cut this board or cut some foam. Yeah, they have the board cut so that it's like, it was behind the board, right? Or up higher than the board. Up higher than the foam. Or, yeah. No, higher than the board. Yeah. There's a notch up for the board. So it'd make more sense to cut that out, out off the top so that we can keep more insulation. Right? Like cut across all of them. About yeah. that much. Yeah, I'm just looking at where we gotta go. Like this it's one's pushed fine. out pretty bad here. It's pushed out a little bit here. Just need to push, like that's way out. That's gotta go in. So we gotta pull this back. Ah, oh, for f Push your corner, bottom corner in. pushing right into that foam.
you want to pass me the hammer that's out there somewhere? After struggling with the first side, we decided to shave down a bit more foam right off the bat on the second side. Yeah. Now we know the spray foam has to be right. V-Birth is partly back together. You have no idea how exciting this is to see that we're actually putting things back together and that there's actually a chance this boat might end up back in the water. <laughs> For a while there it was really feeling like we were never getting back in the water but with it going back together like this it's so exciting because it feels like there's a chance that we actually might make it back into the water by our... we're hoping for May right now. We'll see how it goes. It's not a hard date but that's what we're hoping for, and it's looking very much like that might be possible. So, yeah. I am very, very happy right now. I think Logan's very, very happy right now. He's sneaking around behind me. Yep. yep. Super happy. Super happy. I wish uh, tomorrow wasn't a regular work day, because we could get even more done. Yeah. But it's Wednesday, which means that tomorrow and Friday, Logan is working his regular paid job. And I'm editing these videos for you guys. But anyway, exciting day. Um, thanks for sticking it out with us as we start to put things back together. So today we're finally putting the fridge back in. Which is the first like appliance-y type thing that we've taken out that's going back in. As you guys saw, we put uh, quite a bit of the V-Birth back together the other day. And today, today is the next piece going back in. Very exciting. Before the fridge can go back in, we have to put the wood paneling back on in the fridge compartment. Now that I've shaved down all the spray foam so that it's flush. Um, so that's got to be done and then we can actually carry the fridge up here and put it back in. 
So before we can put wood in, we have to actually find the wood out of our piles of stuff that's come out of the boat. I think that's the alley. Fridge hole. Fridge hole. Woo. So that's half. Turns out that we forgot two pieces of wood in the sea can. And we need to get a small can of spray foam so that we can fill in a few gaps that we couldn't get with the big nozzle on the kit. Or that we need to fill in it once the wood's actually back in because we can't get the wood in without taking the foam out, but then there's exposed bits of metal that need foam over top of them. So we're gonna go grab those things and then come back and hopefully actually get this fridge in. So this is what we ended up with. We ended up with this one because this is one of only two products that said that they were closed cell foam. The rest didn't tell us whether or not they were. This one specifically said that it was. And then there was one that was a two part that looked like pretty much a very small version of the froth pack that we used for doing the interior already, but it was twice the price. And we probably need, well, we probably need this whole can. Though the other one was bigger and way more money and we didn't need it, the whole thing. So this is what we got. It does say online that it's closed cell polyurethane, which is what we needed, but it's a one part. So we're hoping that it's not just some kind of crazy marketing to get you to buy stuff because the rest of the products that they have have pretty much the exact same chemical makeup, but none of them say that they're closed cell. And it seems like that would be a pretty big selling point and something that they would want to advertise if it was true. So I don't know what the difference is. There's like so many of the same makeup, but different, they're advertised differently. So yeah, this will be going on once the wood's in. So you'll notice as well that in the V-Birth we don't have all the pieces back in. We don't have like the top, the top piece of plywood that you actually lay on and sleep on. And that's because that we're lengthening the bed. So it was already too short for us and then with the new spray foam we increased the depth of the spray foam. So we lost like an inch. So we're going to lengthen the bed a couple of inches so that we can actually sleep comfortably in it and hopefully have a better time. But that's why that's not back in there yet. Because of the way the wood fit together, we put the hanging locker backing in before the fridge hole. Sweet. Okay. Well, it looks really funny, but that right there is what we did with the spray foam. So that's covered, and in the corner there, it smells very bad. That's covered the gussets. And then <laughs> in here, Logan has covered a few spots that he couldn't really get the big nozzle in to do the job properly. So he filled those spots in with this stuff. The most important thing though today is those ones because that means we are ready for the fridge to go in.
Good. Fuck, I had a block already the right size and everything. Well, that's lucky. And it just sits in there. Look at that. Yeah. Not even any screws in it. So that's it for now then. Yeah, because I got to pull it back out to reconnect it, but. It's in there? That couldn't have been more perfect. Awesome. I think I have to cut this down for the... Why? For the door. Well, it's on an, a bit of an angle. It fit fine before. I know. Well, it didn't, but I was tired of f***ing with it. Oh, alright then. I mean, it opens and you can closed. see where the... It opens and closes, it's just... exciting thank you for watching we're pretty close to real time with our videos right now but if you would like even more up-to-date videos we would love to see you over on patreon and shout out to all of those who are already joining us over there see you next week